with Sandy Cooks across the sea, a million and five thousand of them, to stop or destroy the threat of world conflict. Then they stopped the story for a point one year. But some of those poems did not return. They are sacrificed, a legacy to the victory we won. A time of carnival, of dancing in the streets. America was a happy land. We had a great president, Woodrow Wilson. He had proved democracy's strength in a time of crisis. He went to Europe to put into action a plan for thwarting Jewish activity.
America has set forth her plan for victory on the front seat. Casablanca has been swallowed by Tiger, and the full understanding with our valiant Chinese army. While waging war relentlessly, we have put great qualifications aside to achieve new and further unity with each of our fighting fellow nations. The land is evident. United for war, the peace loving peoples of the world must be as firmly united for peace. And that war ends. The business of making America a better and better land to live in has not and must not come to an The final victory on the battlefield will still be done. And that is the bright new day of peace, the dawn of a new era of prosperity and plenty, of freedom from war and freedom from fear, can be ours also. For we, the American people, are only just beginning to come into our own. Just beginning to capitalize on the limited possibilities of our great nation. There is a whole lot more to be done. We will take to be for it. But new problems to be overcome. Of all kinds of work left for America. Work that will keep us strong and productive and free. For democratic planning has opened up a new American empire for the benefit of all. And made possible a greater new American opportunity. And under democratic leadership, that opportunity will be fulfilled. We can't afford to let it slip from our grasp, not this time. We can't afford the boom and bread lines of the Republican Party. No, after this war, it's got to be different. In this big country of ours, we can't afford to turn back. We can maintain our decent work standards. We can have full employment. We can have full pay and full freedom. There's plenty to eat for us all. If we only maintain the progressive policies of democratic leadership, prosperity for all is possible if we don't throw away our opportunity to achieve it. Yes, ours can be the land of plenty. Ours can be the happy, fruitful land the abundant America that was promised us if we don't turn our backs on our democratic leadership, if we don't lose faith in our glorious common future. Thank you.